Hello, this video will show you the enhancements added to the linear feature extraction command in TBC version 550. Enhancements were added to both the curb and gutter and overhead lines extraction workflows. Let's start by looking at the overhead line extraction. The extract line feature command can be found in the point clouds ribbon under deliverables. Starting at the top of the commands pane, we can first adjust our line settings as needed. Next, we can select the start point and the end point. When I select my first wire for extraction in the graphic view, an orange search box now appears in the 3D view. This search box was added as an enhancement to automatically detect wires within the dimensions of the search box. This can speed up your extraction workflow as the user no longer needs to click on each individual wire desired for extraction. We can see that adjusting the search length also impacts the length of the search box. The search box can be turned on and off by checking or unchecking the adjacent search checkbox. The size of the search box can also be adjusted by utilizing the search size slider control. You want to ensure that the search box is big enough to encompass all wires desired for extraction. Once I am happy with the dimensions of my search box, I can hit find to automatically detect the rest of my wires that fall within the search box. Green crosshairs appear on the detected wires. If a wire is missed, you can simply place your cursor back in the lines field to select the missed wire. Here, all of my wires were successfully detected. The search length and width of my first input wire will also be applied to the automatically detected wires. Now I am ready to hit extract. We can overcome gaps in the point cloud data with the mid QA QC options that were included in the TBC version 540 release. Once my wires are extracted, I can hit add to add my extracted line strings to my TBC project. Optionally, I could make additional enhancements in the post QA QC tab prior to hitting add. Now, let's take a look at enhancements made to the curb and gutter extraction workflow. After setting my extraction type to curb and gutter from the extraction type dropdown, I can begin my extraction by adjusting the line settings. Then, I will select a point 1 and a point 2 to define my cutting plane. Moving down the command pane, we can next define the curb pattern profile to be used as a template by the extraction process. Here is where we'll see the enhancements added to the curb and gutter extraction workflow. We now have the option to add nodes with the add node button and remove nodes with the remove node button. The curb profile can now be defined by up to 10 nodes or down to three nodes. As you can see, I purposely defined my cutting plane view to generate a cross-section view of the island in this point cloud dataset. Here, I will define eight nodes to extract both sides of the island at once. Optionally, we can also uncheck the draw boxes to indicate that a line string is not extracted based on the node. I will uncheck node 2 here for demonstration purposes. When I am happy with my set interval and minimum confidence value, I can go ahead and click extract. As we follow the live update in the graphic view, we can see that the line following node 2 is not extracted since I unchecked the draw box. If the extraction stops at any time, 
we can implement the additional options as a mid QA QC check. It is important to note that adding the capability of extracting up to 10 nodes may have the potential for other use cases such as extracting concrete barrier walls. When my curbing gutter lines are completed, I can go ahead and hit add to add the extracted line strings to my TBC project. As with the overhead line extraction, I could have optionally navigated to the post QA QC tab to make additional line string enhancements. Lastly, we've also added an enhancement to detect areas of overlap in the curb and gutter extraction. When an overlap is detected, a dialog box pops up asking if you would like to snap the lines together. Here I defined my cross section only on one side of the curb, so the line strings will intersect as the extraction continues around the island. Within the dialog box, we can tell the commands to snap the lines together, stop the extraction, or have the extraction continue on its current path without snapping the lines together. Here I will hit snap to smoothly join the line strings together. This completes our linear feature extraction update. Thank you for watching.